have to tell where I was caught? They ask you. Good and bad. I often wondered about that. A really person who's doing a lot of hard fishing and finally finds the stripers and you ask him where it is, I don't think you're going to get a good answer. I finally decided we go North Shore and South Shore. We divide the island in half, and that would be the way to do it. I wouldn't lie. <laughs> but it's pretty tough to ask a person where you're fishing during the derby with the competition the way it is to get a direct answer. Would people go to incredible lengths to hide where they were? Oh, I can tell you stories <laughs> upon stories about that. One night we were doing really, really well at West Chop. And I was fishing with Georgie King at the time. We found the bass there real heavy. There was an old green shed down in the back when you pull in. And there was a real rickety door on it. Well, we cleaned up one of the stalls, put the truck in the stall, closed the door, and then walked down to the beach so nobody would know where we were. The jetty was up above us like this. We fished right next to the jetty so nobody would see us. Nobody ever found us. It was pretty clever. We had people come close. We watched them. We'd, we'd just go up and stand in the grass, and they'd come down, fish for a little bit, and leave. But we had tag these fish pretty good and we were weighing in big fish and also we did things to throw people off <laughs> one night we found the bass there real heavy in that particular instance we took a load of fish we threw them in the truck now it's like our tide was over like about one o'clock so what we did george and i did we were sitting there thinking it's only a matter of time till somebody finds us so we want to create a diversion. So we came up with this plan. What we did was we loaded the truck with bass and West Tisbury Gray Pond had been opened. So we knew somebody was going to be fishing at West Tisbury Gray Pond. It's one o'clock in the morning. We drive from Goffs over to West Tisbury Gray Pond, park the truck on the beach next to the opening, get out, knock the tailgate down, grab two bass a piece, and we run up and down the beach putting drag marks in the beach throw the bass back in the truck, and we go to sleep. And we wait for somebody. There was nobody there, so we're waiting for somebody to come down the beach. And we got to go to work at 8, right? I mean, we're exhausted. And I wake up, and it's like 5, 30, 6 o'clock, and I'm thinking, man, we got to get going. Nobody's here. Oh, this, all this work for nothing, right? Pretty soon, here comes a Jeep down the beach. It's Kibby Bramhall. Here comes Kibby, comes up, looks in the truck, goes, Oh, my word, unbelievable. Yeah, they were heavy, Kib. They were heavy last night. Grabs his rod, goes down to the opening, makes a cast, bang, he's on. They were there the whole time we were sleeping. <laughs> we couldn't have put any more in the truck. <laughs> it was just like, so we, we had accomplished what we wanted to, so we left. In the meantime, I'm, we're down selling the bass at the um, harborside, and I called him. My uncle Al Doyle comes up to me, and he says, "Man, oh man, where did you get all these fish?" And now I have a dilemma. Okay, I have a very close friend of my uncle's, who I'm either going to lie to, or I'm going to tell him the truth. Okay. So I go for the truth. I said, Al, we're getting them at West Chop. Okay, fine. So we go on, sell our fish. The next day, I'm going downtown, and here comes Uncle Al, and he is livid. He is red-faced and mad. Gets right in my face, and he goes, Boy, don't you ever lie to me again. If you don't want to tell me where your fish are or where you're fishing, don't bother. Just say, no, I'm not going to tell you. That way you won't be lying to me. I can't figure out what's going on. I'm like, I told you the truth. Oh, don't hand me that. I saw Kibby Bramhall yesterday, and he told me where you were. <laughs> so it did come back to bite us a little bit. <laughs> Did you ever tell him that story? Yeah, oh, we told him, but he would not believe us. 
Absolutely not believe it. Have you told that to Kibby? He must know that. Kib knows all about it. Yeah. He laughed. Yeah, he knows all about it. <laughs>